What's going on guys, Sam, I'm back with another Batman figure review, doing this, you know, in time for the Batman Dark Knight Rises film coming pretty soon, so just doing a bunch of Batman reviews. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Legends of Batman, Dark Rider Batman with whipping arms and slashing sword action. This is made by Kenner. Um, quick little, you know, story about this. I just recently picked this up off Amazon, I think it cost me like 15 bucks. Uh, reason, reason why I ordered this was because back when I used to collect, when I was like hardcore, when I was my... When I was a kid, um, my dad used to take me to like you know Toys R Us every weekend. We used to go you know hunting for toys, and we'd always see this uh, figure there, and um, we'd always say like every weekend we'd go. We'd go every Sunday, and we'd always tell each other, or he'd tell me, "I'm gonna get that you know the horse. I'm gonna pick this Batman up," and we'd say that every time we'd go to Toys R Us until finally they stopped you know selling it in stores, and we'd talk about it over the years, just like years and years later until now. You know, he'd say, man, I can't believe I never picked that up. I mean, it's not a collector's item, but for some reason, my dad really liked this this um, this figure. And uh, I saw it on Amazon. I ordered it. And, you know, one of the day, he, he uh, was leaving to work, and, I, and he said, you know, there's a package outside for you. So, I sh you know, I opened it up, and, uh, it was of course, it was this horse here. And he actually brought a big smile to my dad's face. And um, so I'm going to do a review on it, and then I'm going to give it to him, and he's going to put it up in his room. But yeah, I mean, this this is the only reason why I bought it was because it reminds me of my childhood, and you know, my dad wanted it. So after I review this, I'm giving it to him. Um, quick little, uh, so it kind of means a lot to me. But a quick little look at the packaging here. So there's the Legends of Batman. I actually like this series. I owned a lot of um, figures from this line, which is actually pretty cool. So there's Batman. You got the horse there. Nice packaging, Kenner. Uh, let's see here on the side. It's got a picture of the horse. Right there. On the back, same same thing in the back. On on the on this side is the instructions here. So it says the history of Batman. The legends of Batman have always existed and always will th throughout history and into the distant future. Inspired by the timeless DC Comics, the Legends of Batman action figures collections features the dark superhero as he's never been seen before, stronger and more muscular battling crime throughout time. It says Dark Rider Batman and Rearing Battle Stallion. Thundering across the plains, the dark and powerful figure of Dark Rider Batman leads the charge against outlaws in untamed and lawless territories. He rides in on a fierce black stallion and brings justice with a quick slash of the sword and crack of the whip. Bandits, beware, Dark Rider Batman is hot on your trail. So there's the um, little instructions on what he does. So he has like a sword slashing action. So, so cool. I'm I'm actually happy I got this. You know, it's not really a collector's item, but it's cool to have in your collection if you're a Batman fan. You know, I am. My dad is. So what I'm gonna do is take a quick break and we'll take a closer look at the uh, figure. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys. So here we have the Dark Rider Batman outside of the packaging. Um, now, again, don't expect this figure to be like highly detailed, highly articulated. I mean, this figure was made back in 1994, so you know all that articulation and stuff wasn't really, you know, in. But the figure is actually pretty nice. It's 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 cool for you know just like display purposes. I mean, this is really cool. Again, I picked this guy up just you know for, you know, just childhood memories. Um, you can see the uh, the little ear thingies on the top on the, are really warped, but I'll, I'll show you guys that in a second here. Um, take Let's take Batman out of his horse. We'll get a close look at the horse. So the horse is nice. It's nicely detailed. It's got red eyes, which is really cool. Um, you can stand him on his like hind legs if you wanted to. You can see that there. So he'll stand on his hind legs. He's in a pre-posed... Uh, um, he sculpted like pre-posed, so you, he has no other articula uh, he has no articulation whatsoever. But really cool. I mean, the only thing that moves is the tail. It just has like a little swivel to it. So you get a close look at the horse. It's got a bat symbol right there at the seat. This is a little thingy, a little rope for the horse. It's like a soft rubber. It goes around the um. The, the snout or the mouth or the nose, whatever you want to call it. I know nothing about horses, so there's the the hair on top. This is where Fat Man, Fat Man, there you go. This is where Fat Man's feet go. <laughs> this is where Batman's feet go into right here. So it looks like it's got a peg in there. Oh, yeah, well, that's where it plugs in. Um, so then it's got the little strap buckle here, you know, for the harness. 
I do like the I think the head sculpt's done pretty nice. I think it looks pretty cool. But like I said, I mean it's this is this is made back in ninety ninety uh ninety four, so it's not it doesn't got a lot of detail on it. But it's still a cool looking figure. I mean I like it. And uh so that's the horse. That's the horse part. Now let's take a look at Batman. So here is Batman. Let's zoom in. As you can see the uh the top of the ear part is like really, really warped, but I'll I'll fix that with some warm water. And there's the um the head sculpt. And uh, the cape, it's kind of like, you know, it looks like it's like blowing in the wind. And it does come off, the cape, you can't take the cape off. You can see that there, this is the cape here. Um, here's Batman, very limited in articulation. He does come with a whip, you can see that there, like soft rubber. Uh, there's a bat buckle, it's gold, bat symbol. He's like in this old-fashioned costume, which is really cool. There's the boots. Got a bat symbol in the boots there, both sides. Nicely, nice, nicely detailed. It's got, you know, here's the little gimmick it's got going on here. It's got a lot of little straps around the legs. He has a little whipping action. You can see that there, which actually works pretty good. So that's his little gimmick he has. He's a whip, whipping action, and uh, he does come with the sword which is also pretty warped, a long gold sword. Just holds, you know, he holds it well. He holds both of these accessories well. That's pretty cool. But he's a, he's great. He's a great figure. Um articulation wise, you know, the legs just go pretty much forward and back. The arms go up and down and the head rotates side to side. So that's it as far as articulation goes. It doesn't really do much. Um but again, I picked this figure up because of, you know, a childhood, my childhood, so I wanted to have this figure in my collection. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really much to say about this figure, but he just looks cool. Uh, he's cool for display purposes. I think it'll look good in your Batman collection. Zoom out so you can get a close look. Or a full look, I should say. Been wanting this guy for years, and I finally got him. And I'm not disappointed. I think it looks great. And there you have it, guys. It's a quick little look at the Batman Legends of Batman. This is the uh, Night, or I'm sorry, the yeah, the not Dark Rider Batman. A, a figure. I mean, would I recommend it for you guys? If you're a Batman collector and you got to have every Batman figure, then yes. Other than that, I mean, if if this isn't your thing, the older figures, the older Kenner figures, then you know you can pass on it. Um, but this, I found this guy on Amazon. You can get it for like under twenty bucks. So, great figure. Alright guys, this is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Today we're looking at the 1994 Kenner Batman. I'm repeating everything I just said. Legends of Batman, Dark Rider Batman. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. See you guys next time for more Batman reviews.